everyone, welcome back to La Deutsche Vita, life in Germany, made in Germany. If this is your first time joining us, hello, hope you stay, subscribe, like, comment and share this video. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hey, let's get into this video. So today's video is an answer to a subscriber's question. His question was, this worker's visa for qualified professionals, is it still worth it? Can I still apply in this whole Corona season and all that is happening around the world? Can I still apply in Germany? Here is your answer, honey. The first stage is, so is it legally possible to um, travel out of your country? Is it legally possible for you to enter Germany? And the office of Auswärtige Amt or the foreign office has issued a statement um, in which they state the visa that was um, issued on the basis of you being a qualified professional or healthcare professional, you are going to be allowed to enter the country. Okay, so um, as you've probably briefly um, read this, I'm going to also link the, um, the information link down below in the description box. Have a look at it and see if, if you want to travel, if this actually um, applies to you. This is as of today, okay? This today is the 16th of July. So this is the current situation. If you want to travel into Germany, if you want to enter Germany, that is the requirement or this is the condition on which you can come in. So yes, if you have that visa, if it's been issued to you, you can still travel to Germany. Now, the other thing is with Corona going on, most um, companies are not most companies are not actually hiring, of course they're all cutting down, but when you're working in the healthcare, this is your cocoa season, basically. So what do you have to look out for? So um, make sure that your profession or the qualification for your profession is recognized in Germany as well. So for example, nurses in Germany do not have to get a university degree. Um, here you have to you go through a training to become a nurse. It's not a university um, course, but from out, coming from outside it is. So you have to um, ensure that it meets the qualifications that um, need to be met here to be to be able to practice. Or if you whatever your profession is that you want to um, practice in Germany, make sure that you meet all the requirements. Of that qualification in Germany, okay. So you want to be a if you want to practice as a doctor, whatever it is, make sure that you have those qualifications. Another thing is that you need an offer from, from the company, so an employment offer, a job offer, or best case scenario is actually the the contract, okay, the valid contract. So they've given me a job. There's a contract already, so I'm actually already have an employment contract and. That job that has been offered you has to be in the field of your profession. So if you said that you are a, a teacher, for example, but the job is for um, some somebody who studied business. Hello. That's it. Reason I'm in the work. All right, so this is what you have to look out for. Make sure that the job falls within the field of your profession or of your qualifications that is the next step and also make sure that if you're this is the first time of you coming to germany in about 45 years you need to make sure that the gross annual salary is above forty-five thousand five hundred and forty euros okay watch out for that and also check whether you actually qualify for the eu blue card instead of the workers visa okay for the workers visa for qualified professional so this is this is your answer um i hope this video helps you like comment share and of course subscribe see you same time next week cheers